I think one of the great ways to overcome the winter blues is to tap into temperature because light is the primary force that regulates our circadian rhythms, our mood, our digestion, our ability to be productive and so on. Now, think about our ancestors who lived up north, northern, northern European and whatnot. When winter comes, their circadian clocks switch into taking information from temperature rather than light. So cold exposure in that, in that case is something wonderful to tap into because it will start regulating your rhythm so much so that your cortisol and melatonin, and cortisol is the hormone that is released in the morning in, in a healthy pulse so that you become alert, focused, and energized. The cold could activate that in you and reset your melatonin as well so that your melatonin is released at the right time at night when the sun is absent. I mean, get colder in winter, basically. <laughs> I am so powerfully aware of how light affects me. I, I often get asked, how did I get into this? And my answer is, my story really started when I was a kid. And uh, being diagnosed with ADHD, I suffered from headaches, agitation, and inability to focus. And growing up, I turned into a night owl. And I often stayed up very late at night, feeling wired and stimulated only to lack the energy, focus, and motivation the following day. And eventually, day after day, this led me to chronic fatigue, deep depression, and disorientation. And to be honest, Tony, it was sabotaging my professional life, my aspirations, and my relationships with my loved ones. So I technically was very desperate in order to feel better. And mm. the problem is that as I kept going from one doctor to another, I felt very overwhelmed and tired with all the different health opinions. And I tried so many different uh, diets, uh, taking supplements, uh, meditation, and different exercising techniques. And while all of this uh, positively impacted my life, Unfortunately, I was still stuck with feeling so wired at night and so tired and exhausted in the morning. And I also really refused to take any prescription medication, thankfully. Now, miraculously, one specific event changed all of that. I spent several weeks on a rural farm camping and I was exposed only to natural light during the day and fire and candlelight during the evening. Oh, wow. Sounds amazing. Totally. And guess what? Within a matter of days, I start winding down in the evening, feeling mellow, relaxed, and going to sleep shortly after the sunset, to then wake up before the sunrise for the first time in my life, feeling rested, refreshed, and energized. Mm. I literally went from feeling foggy-headed and depressed to feeling super clear, energized, and motivated. I mean, how did that magic happen, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, this didn't last long because the moment I came back to the city, I fell back into my old terrible routine of staying up late and waking up feeling tired. And at this point, I was really contemplating whether it was my light environment that was causing all of this. And this question led me to a seven-year journey where I was deeply studying quantum biology, light, and circadian rhythm. And I was consulting the world's leading expert in this field. And what I learned is that we are light beings and that physical reality itself is light that is vibrating at a lower speed. And this means that not only light does shapes our life and our well-being, but it is the nucleus of life itself. And in a nutshell, the quality of light that we expose ourselves to will determine the quality of our sleep, productivity, focus, mood, and well-being. 